Hello, Dwayne here. PhoenixTypewriter.com. We're going to show you how we fix the IBM Selectric 3 bottom case when it gets damaged in shipping. And this one took a licking and it's got a hole on the back here. Should be solid like that. So it broke this piece out, but otherwise it's still stable except it did break both mounts both latches here so this piece is broken off and it's not going to work but we've got a way to fix this I've been doing these quite a while so figured a nice little method out and I'm going to show you how to do it first thing you do is take the piece off the little remaining plastic piece unscrew this Let's separate these two we're not going to use that screw anymore that's going to be trash so this piece goes in like that this piece if we look we can probably get it matched up here pretty close after where it goes just like that not have much light in here but so what we're going to do is run a screw all the way through and out the bottom of the case and I was using this screw, but I, I only have one, so I'm going to go with this one. It's a little thicker. So a couple things have to be done in preparation for this. This piece needs to be reamed out a little, because that's where the threads are, but we need this screw to go through it now, so it's too small to squeeze through here. So we're just going to drill this out real quick with a handy-dandy drill I got right here. Pretty easy. See if I can do it. Oops. It's Ouch. You can grip that with something else besides your fingers, but I got it. So I'm just going to ream that out a little. So now the screw will fit through here. Yeah, it's pretty close. I'm going to do it just a little more. through pretty easy okay so do that and of course that fits right back in there so now screw's going to go down we need to make a hole in the bottom of the case for the screw to thread into and we're going to do that with the torch Let me raise this up a little we'll get some torch action going and we're just going to drive a small not too big a rod through here you know you don't want it bigger than the Still gotta be tight in there, so so we're just gonna heat this up. Let's use this side, and we're gonna drive it right through the all the way through the plastic there, and and then that's gonna be our new uh, our new threaded plastic piece. So let's drive that through right there, all the way through. Come on. Didn't get it hot enough. Get some more. A little more heat. Melt that plastic off. Alright, let's give it a try. Okay, right on through. If you want, you can pull a rod through like that. It doesn't leave any. Doesn't leave any. Debris, if there is a little bit there, um, take a razor and just clean off the X. There's a little. So you want that piece to be able to fit flush still. Okay, good. Okay, we're just about there. So we can pre screw this in here, make sure it's going to fit. Okay, so let's 
that's going to work fine. It comes out the bottom here, but... Yeah, that's pretty snug. That's what we want. Okay, let's back it back out of there. Alright, so... Just for kicks and giggles, I like to always super glue this stuff. So I'm going to just put a couple drops of super glue on the plastic here. The screw is going to hold it tight, but the super glue just might help some. I don't know. Maybe not. I don't know. So let's position this piece. Put it in place. Like that. Now we're going to put this piece back on. It's got a little, little notch there that goes in that hole. And then that hole lines up with that hole. Like that. And we're just going to screw it on down. And uh, it should go through there until it gets to the bottom. There it goes. And I'm just going to tighten this up. All the way. In fact, I think I'll... that's pretty tight, so. Maybe we'll use it a little bit here. And, uh, let's put it in there real quick. Tighten this up. Make sure that bracket didn't switch positions on you. Or that little uh, plastic piece here. Looks right. Oops. Tighten this down. Yeah, it looks good. Looks about right here. So. Everything is in. Nice and snug right there. Seems like it's a little crooked, but I think it's I think that's okay. So then just flip it over and the screw is protruding here. You can see that, so just make short work of that with the Dremel. And then just kind of make sure it's not sharp. Nice and flush. And that's it. Bracket is back in business. That's as strong as it was. And then you just got to do. Of course, this one broke both sides, so do the other side too. But same procedure. In this case, we'll survive. I'm not going to do anything about the uh, this notch missing. Like I said, it's it's still tight. It's not cracked anywhere else. There's no cracks on this. Besides that chunk out of there. So we just have a little ventilation or something. All right, that's my video of the day of. Uh, bottom case repair for a Selectric 3 and the bottom case is obviously it's a plastic the plastic version which was made for lightweight lose a few pounds on the Selectric. Alright, good day.